Hi guys, welcome to Hoops Junction. Today we're breaking down what are the Bulls doing? What are they doing? What is their roster? What is their lineup? What are they doing with the pieces that they have? A lot of people are confused as to why Joe Kim Noah is coming off the bench. A lot of people don't understand why certain people are on the bench while some are not. Some, you know, people are just like kind of fed up. They want to know what's going on, why is it going on, and things of that nature. Now, I was reading an article the other day, and it said that the emergence of Bobby Portis is a problem for Fred Hoiberg and the Chicago Bulls. Now, when is the ever the emergence of a good player a problem for a team? And that has always been the theme for the Chicago Bulls. Every time a player starts playing well for them, and instead of embracing that, people look at it as a problem. How are you going to get a minute? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? And that is the whole problem with the Chicago Bulls organization. It's always been the same problem. Always, always, always. Whenever they have players that can play, what they do is they get really rigid and they stick to their core. And they never give those players any kind of burn. If you don't remember, Tom Thibodeau, he barely played um, Doug McDermott before the injury. He barely played Tony Snell before the injury. And a lot of people are saying that, um, you know, I was watching the game and Van Gundy was saying, Jeff Van Gundy, commentator, he was saying that uh, Tony Snell, he needs to work on this more. He needs to work on finishing more. How can he work on it more if he's not getting in the games? And that's, that's the thing. The Bulls do not work their prospects really well. And that's why whenever it comes to the playoffs, they're always in a tough situation. So the reason why Joe Kim Noah is coming off the bench is because they want to give somebody else a chance in order to work the prospect. They're trying to give them a, a, a longer leash so they could um, expand their game. Joe Kim Noah, we already know what his game is. His defense, rebound, energy, which is great, which is awesome. But at, at times, the Bulls' offense, especially last season, it used to stall like crazy. They'll go five minutes without scoring a basket. They wouldn't break 100 points. They would be in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? So the only way they could beat you is by holding you down. And the thing is, if you're getting easy buckets and they have to play like 120% defense while you're pay playing 90% defense, 95% offense, and they're playing 100%, 120% defense and maybe 90% offense, I mean, they're going to expend more energy than you do. So with Fred, Fred Hoiberg, his new mission is to expose the offensive weapons of the Chicago Bulls, or unleash them, pardon me, unleash the weapons, you know, like a Bobby Portis, like a Doug McDermott, like a Nikola Miritich. I mean, this has to happen. They, Noah going on the bench and things of that nature, that has to happen. Even at times, they probably should even consider giving roles like maybe a two-guard role or some, at certain games, you know, starting a player, not starting a player over him. I wouldn't say to do that, but they have to figure out other ways for Rose to attack in the offense because one of the reasons why the Bulls struggle so hard is their three-point shooting. And this year, their, their three-point shooting has improved, but at that point guard spot, that three-point shooting is so important, and Rose doesn't really space the floor like that. He attacks the basket every single time. So what Hoiberg is trying to do is expose the unleash the weapons. And it shouldn't be a problem. Like, Bobby Porter's playing well shouldn't be a problem. What they can always do, they can slide Gasol to the center position, put him at the forward position. It, it's just like that. Or if they want to play big, but with bigs who can... Because Bobby Porter does have a mid-range. You can go Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler, Bobby Porter's. Taj Gibson, and Gasol. I mean, you could do so many things with those lineups. But what they have to do is they have to master the offense. They have to trust the system. You know what I'm saying? The other day, um, Jimmy Butler was talking about guys aren't playing hard. It's not that guys aren't playing hard. It's just you, the guys aren't mastering the system. The system calls for mastery so that when anybody's in the game, everybody can score. Everybody's a threat. And th they don't understand that. They don't understand that. Playing well, that's not a problem for you guys. It's a great thing. Like, uh, you know, Meritage playing well is a great thing. Bobby Porter's playing well is a great thing. Of course, you have to find the minutes, but it shouldn't be like, oh, you know, I'm not getting that many minutes. I'm coming off the bench. I'm bitching. Da -da -da -da. Like, if you're winning games, which the Bulls are doing, they're 19 and 12, shouldn't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? It, sh it should be 
okay, let, what, what else can I do? What else can I sacrifice for the team? Because we all know Jimmy Butler's a star. We all know Derrick Rose is a star. But they just need a whole lot more help, man. They, they need a lot more help, and they need to change that mentality. Because the way the NBA is going, it's in the next two to three years, I would say, I would say the average defense will hold teams to like 101 points because they're, they're just giving up points because they want they want high scoring games so you're not gonna hold teams to 80s so the, the Bulls fans they need to get that out of their head and the thing what's crazy is their defense isn't even that bad see what I'm saying it's just like their their whole offensive system and learning it they that's where they're struggling so I'll give Fred Hoiberg a little slack what you have to understand is this is a marathon, not a sprint. And if they can master the offense and couple that with their defense and sprinkle in those offensive weapons, get get McDermott more minutes, get Tony Snell more minutes, get Bobby Portis more minutes, get some youth, get some youth and energy in there. You know, get Noah back some minutes also. Youth, energy, and ball movement, you know, it's contagious, and it'll make the Bulls a lot better team. So if they can master the offense... Come playoff time, guess what? They're going deep into the playoffs. You know, see what I'm saying? They're going really, really deep because they won't have to worry about, well, where am I going to get my next bucket? And that's always been their problem. Where am I going to get my next bucket? So, you know, even like if they want to bust a move, you know, you maybe trade Etoine Moore, get a young scoring prospect because they need scoring. They need scoring. They need energy. They don't need Pogasol running up and uh, messing around with them jump hooks. They need pace. They need a lot faster pace. You have players like Jimmy Butler, athletic, Derrick Rose, athletic. You need pace, ball movement, and space for them to operate. And that's what Hoiberg is doing. So for all of us, for all those questioning what the Bulls are doing, just wait. Come playoff time and you'll see. If they could get Bobby Portis minutes, McDermott minutes, and Snell minutes, and they're playing well in the playoffs, master offense, you won't be complaining anymore. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hoops Junction, where hoops meets hoopla. Peace.